السلام علیکم فرینڈز دس از سامی اینڈ یو ار واچنگ سیول انجینئرز یوٹیوب چینل ڈیئر فرینڈز ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈیفرنس بٹوین ڈیولپمنٹ لینتھ اینڈ لیپنگ لینتھ دس ٹاپک از ٹو مچ امپورٹنٹ اینڈ مینی اسٹوڈنٹ دے آر کنفیوز دیٹ واٹس دا مین ڈیفرنس بٹوین ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ لیپنگ لینتھ اوکے اینڈ اسٹیل بار لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹ اینڈ ڈونٹ فار گیٹ ٹو لائک دس ویڈیو اینڈ شیئر دس ویڈیو وتھ یور فرینڈ سو فسٹ آف آل آئی ول ڈیفائن واٹ از لیپنگ لینتھ اوکے سو لیپنگ لینتھ مینز اوور لیپنگ آف ٹو بار سائڈ بائی سائڈ ٹو اچیو ریکوائر ڈیزائن لینتھ اینڈ لیپنگ لینتھ از ریکوائرڈ ٹو سیفلی ٹرانسفر اسٹریس فرام ون اسٹیل بار to another okay so this is the uh, photo for the lapping length okay so this is one steel bar okay and we know that the standard length of steel bar is okay 12 meter standard length of bar which is 12 meter okay if we need uh, 20 meter design length in slab or in beam etc okay so this is uh, required length okay required design length and the standard this is standard length of the bar okay 12 meter it's available in the market okay so now if i need 20 meter design length okay for any structure so we place the one steel which standard length is 12 meter already okay it's available in the market now we require 20 meter length okay so here we overlap one one steel to other okay so this lapping okay so this point okay this is called lapping length okay this this length is called lapping length then we can get or we can achieve 20 meter length okay because each bar standard length is 12 meter okay and we can get design length okay required design length okay so that point is called lapping length so this is one steel bar okay this is the other steel bar and we overlap two steel bar with each other because i defined that lapping length is required to safely transfer stress from one one bar to another okay so this steel bar okay it uh, safely transfer the stress from this steel to other steel okay because we can get achieve required design length okay with lapping length when we overlap one steel to other okay then we can get design length which we need in slab column uh, etc okay so this is called lapping length and the other one is called development length okay so what is development length now so the grip between steel and concrete and make continuous structure okay or we can define that development length transfer are transferring the stress into the concrete okay so this is the diagram for this okay and we can say that for example this is column okay this is longitude null bar and column okay now we bend the bar here like this in foundation okay so this length is also called development length okay this one also called development length because this is the grip between steel and concrete okay and make continuous structure so this is the uh, in slab okay this is the column and this is the beam okay so look at this this is the steel bar okay this one is steel bar and it becomes here this okay so this from this point to this point okay the length of this bar is called development length okay and it grip between steel and concrete okay extra length okay this is called development length or this is the other steel okay and it's going this okay so this is also called what or from here to here this is called development length and this is too much important okay uh, in uh, structure uh, design okay so uh, this is uh, uh, from the top view i will show you okay this is the size of the column okay so this is called this okay so this extra length of the steel is called like this one okay this is in cross section okay this is called development length okay and this is too much important okay and this is called lapping length okay here we overlap two steel bar with each other okay and we bind it by binding wire and here we 
we don't bind okay but just it's the grip between steel and concrete okay so this is the main difference between development and lapping length and remember that uh, uh, don't provide the lapping length okay at the mid of the uh, slab or at the mid of the uh, we can say uh, in the beam okay and also don't provide okay don't provide overlapping more than 36 mm dia okay if you provide uh, the lapping length for uh, 36 mm dia so uh, okay so this die is too much uh, high from the other okay so it can uh, make the structure weak okay and also suppose uh, this is a slab okay and we provide here the lapping length okay so the lapping length should be provided at the side of the slab not at the mid okay when we provide the lapping length at the mid okay so it can make the structure too much weak okay keep in your mind this point and we can use the formula for this uh, 40d 40d to 48d okay we can uh, do the overlapping with this formula okay so 48 time of die offs bar okay then we can get the lapping length for example uh, if uh, i use here 12 mm dia okay if the steel bar dia is 12 mm okay and we uh, need uh, to overlap the length so how much will be the lapping length here okay so there we can use the formula what 40 d to 48 uh, to 48 d okay so 40 d means 40 multiply what 12 mm okay because 40 d is a die of this steel which we are overlapping with each other okay so this is the important topic for today okay so if you have any problem so you comments I will try to replay your answer. And don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. If you need the article about this video, the link is in the description of this video. Click on that link and also enjoy reading article or just visit to my website www.severstudents.com. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye-bye.